guys, welcome back to another Foodie Friday. So we're doing the other one of the Cheetos mac and cheese flavors. The long-awaited Flamin' Hot. The first one that I was made aware of, and the one that I initially knee-jerk reactioned in the store, EW! That's fucking wrong! Why would you make that a thing? Despite the fact that Flamin' Hot Cheetos are my, are my favorite Cheetos, but apparently as a mac and cheese, my brain was like, oh hell no, that's wrong. But now that I've tried the other two, I'm like, oh hell yeah, let's bring it, bring it. So, all right, spicy, cheesy, and oh so easy to love. Made with authentic Cheetos cheesiness. So, here are the <laughs> nutrition facts, horrifying though they may be. And the ingredients are wheat flour, whey, salt, buttermilk, cheddar cheese with milk cultures, salt, enzymes, citric acid, corn syrup, solids, Maltodextrin, modified cornstarch, monosodium gluteate, glutamate, natural and artificial flavor, onion powder, sugar, sunflower oil, whey protein concentrate, yeast extract, red 40 lake, yellow 5, yellow 6, disodium, inosinate and disodium, guanolate, garlic powder, guar gum, hydrolyzed soy protein, lactose, sodium disitate, xanthan gum, niacin, iron, thiamine, mononitrate, riboflavin, and folic acid. Acid. So, I do notice right off the bat, this is the only one of the three that has less cheeses in general in it, because the other ones I noticed had, like, blue cheese and, like, some other cheese. This one just has, like, cheddar and... was that the only one? Yeah, I think that was the only one. And buttermilk, which, I mean, depending how you argue it. But yeah, I'm like, really? I'm interested to see how this is going to taste compared to the other two now. <laughs> oh boy, in all the reviews I saw on this, everybody was like, yeah, compared to the other two, it has less flavor, it's just uncomfortably spicy, but then again, I, I love actual flavored Hot Cheetos, so we'll see! We'll see! So I'm gonna go make this, and we'll come back when I've got it made and in a bowl, and we shall taste test it! Okay, so I cooked it up, and moment of truth, uh, first off, it is very, very brightly colored red, just like real flaming Hot Cheetos. I mean, no shock there, but for some reason my brain was still not expecting it, and I don't know why. Definitely notice as I mixed in the powder of, ooh, you, you kind of get that up in your nasal passages, and all right, you already feel the burn I haven't even tasted yet, and holy crap. <laughs> so, immediately, it does not smell like flaming Hot Cheetos, just <clears throat> right off the bat. It smells more like the jalapeno, um... Uh, mac and cheese that we reviewed, but we're gonna see how it tastes. I'm not sure what to expect here. So we're going in. Let's find out what these are like. Are they gonna be actually hot? Are they gonna even taste like anything? Let's find out. So first initial thoughts, not much flavor. Noticing a little heat waiting for it, because if it's anything like their actual Cheeto counterpart, I expect, like, within a bite or two, it'll be like, ah, there's the heat or something, but so far, not yet. Weirdly, I can feel the flush starting in my face. I don't feel a burn. Like, where is it? You said these are flaming hot. Where is my heat? Where's the promised heat? You people lied to me. Like, there's, like, about the same level of hot that I found in the jalapeno ones so far. <clears throat> These are not, like, flaming Hot Cheetos. That's a little disappointing, honestly. And they have less flavor than the jalapeno ones, so kind of what was the point of this? Just to make pe- oh, wait, wait. Okay. Delayed reaction. <laughs> All of a sudden it's like, oh! There's the spicy. Okay, it's still definitely not as hot as actual flaming Hot Cheetos, unless it is totally like that same phenomenon where the more of them you eat, suddenly it just kicks you in the damn face of- Hot, 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 or something, but 
I haven't gotten there yet, but it's just like, okay, all right. It has a little more heat behind it. I take back what I said. It has a little more heat behind it than the jalapeno ones, which is good, because otherwise I was going to feel very ripped off, but definitely not hot as actual flaming Hot Cheetos, but I think I like it, but kind of wish it had more flavor. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, is it worth the buy? Maybe, but like manage your expectations going into it because it's not going to be the same experience as you would get from actual flaming Hot Cheetos. Although I am noticing the red across the face. <laughs> like, all right, obviously there is some amount of heat going on. <laughs> so, all right. Anyways, would I? What would I rate it? I think I would rate it maybe like. Let me think. Maybe like a four out of five. If it had more flavor and tasted more like an actual flaming hot Cheeto and had more of the actual punch that a flaming hot Cheeto has, I think I'd punch it up to a five. But this isn't bad. This isn't bad. I don't know that I would necessarily buy it twice still. But just for the novelty factor, it's definitely worth buying once. Just, you know, see what it's all about. But anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and Give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. I know I'm talking more because I can feel a piece of a noodle on one of my front teeth and I'm trying not to have that showcased to the world. There, it's down. Okay, anyway. Hit comments down below. Have you tried these? What did you think of them? Let me know in the comments as well as anything about anything. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.